Imagine waking up, unlocking your Galaxy, and suddenly your phone feels brand new, faster, smoother, with features you didn't even know you were missing. No, you didn't buy a new device overnight. This is the power of Samsung's biggest software rollout of the year, One UI 8. And here's the twist. While millions are just now starting to download the update, Samsung has already begun secretly testing One UI 8.5 in the background. Welcome back, viewers. Sam here. If you're excited to stay ahead of the curve with every Galaxy update, don't forget to hit that like button, share this with your fellow tech friends, and subscribe so you never miss what's coming next. So here's where things get really interesting. One UI 8, Samsung's take on Android 16, isn't just trickling out to the newest flagships, it's making waves across older devices much faster than anyone expected. Galaxy S24 users, Z Fold 6 owners, Z Flip 6 fans, you're first in line, but before you start spamming the update button, there's a catch the rollout has kicked off in Samsung's home turf, South Korea, with a global expansion happening in stages. And based on Samsung's recent speed, global users could start seeing it within days, not weeks. Now, you'd expect this update to land only on the heavy hitters, right? Wrong. Mid-range devices like the Galaxy A56 5G and A36 5G are already being lined up for One UI 8, which is unusual because Samsung normally waits months before touching its budget lineup. This shift tells us something bigger. Samsung is finally serious about treating its entire ecosystem equally. That means whether you're rocking a $1,000 Ultra or a mid-range 8 series, you're not being left behind. But here's where the story takes a shocking turn. Samsung didn't stop with One UI 8. Just hours after rolling it out, Reports confirm that One UI 8.5 is already being tested on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. That's right, before most people even finish downloading the stable One UI 8 update, Samsung is already working on the next version. Think about it, they skipped One UI 7.1 entirely, moved straight to 8, and now they're fast, tracking 8.5. It's almost like they're preparing for a software war, and they want Galaxy users to always be one step ahead. Let's break down what this means for you. If you're updating to One UI 8 right now, you're looking at around 4 GB of fresh software. Inside, you'll notice lock screen upgrades with adaptive clocks that actually morph based on your wallpaper. The customization level now feels alive, dynamic, like it's reading the mood of your device. Split screen multitasking also gets smarter, letting one app stretch to nearly the entire screen while the other hangs out in a smaller window. It's subtle but powerful, especially for power users juggling work and entertainment at the same time. And have you seen the weather app? Goner the cartoonish vibes? It now looks more lifelike, translucent, and modern. The Files app, App Drawer, and even Quick Share have been redesigned to fit this clean, card-style aesthetic. Sharing files isn't a tiny pop-up anymore. It's full screen, smoother, and more intuitive. Samsung clearly wants every corner of the UI to feel cohesive, but the real magic is in the performance. While One UI 7 introduced dramatic animation changes, One UI 8 polishes everything. It's not about flashy moves this time, it's about buttery transitions that make your phone feel faster than it really is. And trust me, once you notice the difference, going back to older versions feels impossible. Now here's the part that makes this update different from anything Samsung's done before. In the past, older models like the S23 or Fold 5 would have to wait months, sometimes half a year, to catch up. This time, rumors point to those very models joining the One UI 8 rollout by early October. That's a matter of weeks, not months. If true, this would be Samsung's fastest, widest software release ever. And while all of this is happening, Samsung is sneakily testing One UI 8.5 with firmware builds that already pack the September security patch. The fact that internal builds are floating around means Samsung's software division is working in overdrive, laying groundwork for the Galaxy S26 launch next year, while simultaneously upgrading current flagships. It's like watching two generations of Galaxy devices evolve at the same time. Why does this matter? Because no other Android manufacturer comes close to this scale. Motorola, Sony, even Xiaomi, they're barely rolling out Android 16 to a handful of phones. Meanwhile, Samsung is pushing its heavily customized UI to millions of users across the globe within weeks. For the first time in a long time, Samsung is turning its biggest weakness, slow updates, into one of its strongest weapons. But don't think it's all sunshine and rainbows. With any massive rollout, bugs are almost guaranteed. Carrier delays, region-specific issues, or unexpected app crashes could still slow things down. 
That's why Samsung's decision to start small in South Korea makes sense. It gives them a test speed before unleashing the update worldwide. So if you don't see One UI 8 on your phone immediately, patience will pay off. And once One UI 8.5 goes public, your device might end up getting two big upgrades back to back. So here's the bottom line, One UI 8 is rolling out faster than expected, mid-range phones are joining the party early, and One UI 8.5 is already brewing in the background. Samsung isn't just updating phones anymore, they're rewriting the rules of how fast Android updates can move. And for Galaxy users like us, that means the future feels exciting, unpredictable, and honestly, more fun than ever. That wraps up today's deep dive into the Galaxy update world. If you're as hyped as I am, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and drop a comment telling me which feature you're most excited for. Is it the new lock screen clocks, the multitasking upgrades, or the promise of One UI 8.5? Let's talk about it below. Until next time, this is Sam, and I'll catch you in the next one.